So I just received this brand new Subaru WRX and I'm going to be doing a number of things to the front end. So to start, I'm going to be wrapping the hood minus the scoop. So the scoop is going to stay the same color. So after the hood is wrapped, the upper portion of the bumper is going to be wrapped. So this whole section up here and also this part, this exterior part of the grill. And it's going to go, so it's going to go along the body line and then stop right here. Continue around and it's going to follow this line right here and go down. All the way down here so everything in the middle here is going to be wrapped too because i'm not removing this scoop i'm going to be using knifeless tape and so basically it is a tape with a wire or a string inside that cuts that way i don't have to cut around the car and so i'll be just outlining this scoop maybe a few millimeters on the inside and then i'll cut it and then i'm going to tuck it in so i'll show you guys what it looks like once it's applied and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's getting cut. Okay, so this is what the knifeless looks applied. So you can see that green tape right around the edge of the scoop. And so this piece right here is actually where I'm going to start from. So I just left a, a little extra piece so I can get a good grip. Okay, so now it's time to cut out the middle section, the scoop. So this is probably the most satisfying part. So here I have the, the filament that I'm going to be pulling and this is going to be doing the cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull. You can see the string coming. Almost finished. Okay, now it's done, so I can just pull away. And there we go. All I have to do is remove this, the extra part of the knifeless tape. And then what I'm gonna do is just lift it up and then tuck it in the crease. So this is just something interesting I noticed. Um, it's actually on a lot of cars, so you can see these pillars are wrapped. If you look right here, there's a seam going up and down. And that's where they basically join the vinyl. And there's actually another seam going up and down here. And so the reason that's probably done is to save material rather than cutting out, you know, the whole window out of one piece of vinyl just for a thin line right around it. But that's how it came from the factory, which is pretty, I don't know, I wouldn't say bad, but I would expect something better, you know. I mean, if you were to ask someone to wrap that, most likely they would wrap it as one piece. And let's see. Yep, there's also another seam at the back here too. So that's just something interesting I found. So it's not just on this vehicle, it's actually on a lot of vehicles. Um, they come wrapped stock from the factory and they have the similar seams everywhere. I wouldn't really expect it, but it is what it is. Just something I thought I'd share with you guys. So I just finished wrapping the lower portion of the bumper and this is what it looks like. I also did it with knifeless tape. So this is what the whole design looks like. Much more aggressive than the stock look and definitely contrast the blue. Much better than the original plain stock look. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see some of the other stuff that I do, you can feel free to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. It's at SillyHack. Uh, the link is also in the description. So a lot of the cars that I work on, I don't really get to make videos of. So you get to see a sneak peek of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And a lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff. So feel free to hit me up and thanks for watching.